So let's just talk about different rotations in a wheel tree. So as we know balance factor is the height of the left subtree minus the height of the right subtree. If the balance factor is 0, 1 or negative 1 then we can say that our tree is balanced. So first of all let's just talk about the right right rotation. So this is the example of the right right rotation because this node is balanced this is also balanced but this node has the balance factor of negative 2. So to balance this we have to rotate this anti-clockwise and after the rotation you can see our tree is balanced. Next we have the left left rotation. So this is an example of the left left rotation because this node is balanced this is also balanced but this node has the balance factor of 2. Now to balance this we have to rotate that clockwise rotation. After the rotation you can see our tree is balanced. So next we have the LR rotation. So this is the example of the LR rotation. To balance this tree first of all we have to convert from LR to LL. That means we have to rotate the node 10 and 20 anti-clockwise. So after the rotation we have converted from LR to LL. Now we have to rotate this clockwise and finally you can see our tree is balanced. And finally we have the RL rotation. So this is the example of RL rotation. To balance this first of all we have to convert from RL to RR. That means we have to rotate this node 30 and 20 clockwise rotation. So after the rotation we have converted from RL to RR. Now we have to rotate this anti-clockwise and finally we have this balance tree. So these are different rotations that we can use to balance our AVL tree. Thank you.